You know, I think the most single important lesson that I've learned in my eight and a half years of recovery in a life of sobriety is that life just isn't about me. And I've learned to develop and work on an attitude of, of we before me. It's one thing I push in my classrooms and especially with my soccer teams that I coach. And for, for me, the moment where my life changed from being an alcoholic to being a man in recovery was when I finally lost all custodial and parental rights to my daughter. And it made me realize that my life just wasn't about Kip. My life was about other people. And I'm really grateful for that. And in the last eight and a half years, I've had an opportunity to really understand that we have to become lifelong learners as people. We can't just get stuck in what we think we know because there's always room for improvement. We can be better than we were yesterday every single day if we're willing to embrace that and we're willing to seek it. And so I've been trying to develop that attitude of we before me and that life isn't about me for the last eight and a half years. And soccer has provided me and coaching soccer has provided me the vehicle to do that. You know, I was retired from coaching. It just didn't fit into the life of an alcoholic. And when I got into recovery, I wasn't going to get back into coaching. That was just something that was in my past. But a good friend of mine, AJ Claire Coper, convinced me to do it. And I got back into it in Sepulpa, Oklahoma. And I took a team that had not won 10 games in the previous decade. And we won 10 games our first year. And I began to develop and refine that we before me attitude that, that what I was doing wasn't about Kip winning games or championships or awards. It was about impacting young people and impacting young men and, and creating champions, not just on the field, but off. And I also learned patience and humility because in the second year we went to 500 because I got caught up in how good we could be and, and winning a district championship and getting to the playoffs and maybe re getting recognized once again as coach of the year in Oklahoma. And I was taught humility. And I was reminded that what I was doing had nothing to do with me and my success and what I was going to achieve. The real wins were in the impact that I was making in those boys, in that program, in those families, in that school, and in that community. And so we moved to Woodland Park, Colorado, and you know I was not going to coach here. And kind of made up my mind I was just going to enjoy life and, and dive into teaching and the secret sauce and writing my book and all of that but you know it's my coaching is my passion and or one of them and so I was convinced to get into this job of coaching the Woodland Park High School boys soccer team and it's just been an incredible journey so far and I love being able to interact with these boys and these families on a daily basis and just help them grow and you know, I had a I had a friend and an assistant ask me yesterday if I was okay, and I'm like, sure. What you know? Why wouldn't I be? And you know, not knowing my story and but knowing my background in soccer, he was worried that maybe, you know, this was maybe a step below of what I was used to, and you know, I I wouldn't be happy because maybe we wouldn't be as good or or win like maybe places or teams I had had in the past, and. You know, I, I shared. I got to be able to share my story with him, and 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 just talk about the very fact of you know it's not about me, and that we before me attitude that I'm preaching to these boys right now, he fully understands and lives the same way, and it was just really cool to to be able to be out there today, and be able to be grateful um, for what I have instead of what I don't have, and just to be able to impact people with what I do and it's because I was embracing the fact that I could still learn I could still become better and that life just wasn't about me my life means so much more when I give it to others and I use it to impact other people and so I just wanted to share that with you today as something something personal uh, but just think about that in, in your life where can you improve where can you learn who can you impact what kind of difference can you make with what you do? Because it's there. You just have to have that we before me attitude and understand that 
all that you do and all that you achieve, all that you achieve, it isn't about you. It's about other people. And the real wins are in those relationships and in those connections that bring about life change for those people around you. Have a great weekend, guys. And um, look forward to this Sunday. I'm dropping the first episode of the Secret Sauce Quick Shots. It's just a small bite PD uh, for educators. And if you're an administrator, check it out and share it with your staffs. If you're a staff member, check it out and share it with your teams. Um, I think it will be impactful. Again, have a great weekend. This has been Kip with the Secret Sauce. Bye-bye.